Okay, so the difference between this one and the previous one that we, we just did is that in this one, it's explaining the mapping function. The mapping function, like I said in the previous one, it's a function that will generate an array B, let's say planets B, from an array of planets A. And the reason you use it is because you want to modify each of the planets a little bit from one array to the other. Like, for example, you could, if you like, you could generate a new array that contains the same planets, but now prevending the number of the planet. Like planet 1, and then planet 2, like this. This is just plain JavaScript. It's not related to React at all. So if you want to accomplish something like that, you will need to map the original one. You can say const planets b that we're going to generate. And then planet b is going to be planet a dot map. And then inside you receive every item, or in this case, we can call them planets. Every planet. And you prepend planet planet. Uh -huh. You prepend it. So let me just say planet here. You prepend it with the number. To get the number, I can get the second parameter of the map. It will pass the position. The position of each element, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I could say here that I want to have position plus the dot, because the dot, we have to put it manually, plus planet A. So now it's going to be, we have to guarantee that we're going to have this second array here because for every planet we have now the original planet this one's not planet A, this one's just planet just planet like this there so from the original planet we're gonna have the original planet plus we're gonna prepend the dot, the space and the position to it so it's gonna be it's gonna start at zero by the way it's not gonna start at one so zero one two and it's going to keep going like that. So that's that's mapping. So based on that, now we're being, we're being told to generate something like this. A UL with all these allies with the class list group item. So we already have here UL list group as content. Okay, we have the original one. In this one, we have to put, I guess, the items, let's say the planets the planet B and we have to generate planet B based on planet A so const planet B it's equal to every planet let's say planet and position and position we yeah and position but now we want this li here, this exact same thing, we want it entirely, so let's just put it. But instead of Mars, we want planet inside here. Planet. And then we also have the position that we need to put as key. Remember that if not, it's going to give us a little error that we don't want. So key, like that. Well, it's not positions, it's just one position. Actually, I normally call it I, because position is just too big. I will, it's shorter, so it's easier to read. Now, if we test it, let's see what happens. We have an issue, plan test, plan test. Well, it's planets, but that's not really a problem. What could be the problem? that is not defined. Oh yeah, I had a misspell there, so let's try now without the misspell. The component should return the exact HTML. Okay, let me see what's the problem. Oh, we have a missing... It's all good, all good. And then a closing URL. Neptune. We close the ally. We close the UL. What could be the problem? 
the opening UL. It could be that that is not saved because I see that is everything is right. Oh look, it's not even showing here. So we do have a problem. All right, this is the mapping function. Yeah, I forgot entirely to say planets planets a dot map, and then I pass the mapping function to it. Yeah. Okay. Let's test it again. Let me see if it looks now. If it shows, yeah, Mars, Venus, Jupiter. Here they are as an HTML mapped. There it is. And then we also have them. Okay, let me test it. We still have a little issue. List group item. Ah, yeah, the class. It's supposed to be class name. Remember, in React, you cannot have class. You have to have class name. And that was the other issue that I was having. Yeah, that's it.